This is Non Rustic, and this is how to make a quick fix on a car fuse. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to fix this fuse that just uh, blew out. As you can see, the fuse has popped. We're going to use a piece of tin foil, and we're going to make a quick fix. And the reason you're going to want to do this is I just dropped it. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. All right. <laughs> the reason that you're going to want to do this is if you're out there um, middle butt buck nowhere and your amp blows and you let's say your headlight doesn't work and you need your headlight to work. This might be one of the reasons that you would make this up, this fuse fix. Of course, it's always good to have spare fuses. Um, in my case, I've just run out. And I am going to make a quick fix. Now, this does not give your vehicle any protection, what the fuse was designed for, so that's a downside to this. The upside to it is you can get your whatever it is working. And um, just basically a very quick, uh, simple fix to get you home. When you get home, you should go get another fuse. You don't want to be riding on this at a long time. Uh, could cause some problems. So... Anyway, we're just basically making a little bar that's going to fit in there. So I'm just making a filler, basically, of tin foil that's going to fit in there and just pass the current through that bridge. And I'm just going to stuff it up with tin foil. It's pretty much my plan here. And um, what the ad idea is, it won't burn out, and hopefully it will keep conducting until I get home. Then after that, I would want to pull it out and put a new uh, fuse in altogether because um, I'm sure this is not the best idea as far as um, safety burning out items. Um, like this is only rated for 15 amps. So the idea is it only lets 15 amps through and if it gets any more than that or hot, it burns, cuts off the connection so you don't wear out your device. Now this is going to be running, for instance, my cigarette lighter. So let's say I had something plugged in like a CD player or something. Um, with this makeup fuse, you could technically burn out your CD player, in theory. So that's why I don't recommend it unless you absolutely have to. But in the, mean, in the short term, it should work. Um, as long as your vehicle's putting that much through. Okay. So what I've got here is a definitely a bridge. I'm just going to double that up just to make sure that it keeps conducting. Um, this is sort of just, I thought of this just on the fly um, because I was sitting here and I was wanting to make my uh, PSP work <laughs> and I realized my fuse was burnt out because I probably ran it a little too hot last time I was using it. So, anyway. Alright. So there you go. Now we're going to see what happens when I plug this in. If they don't blow anything up. Okay. It's in. Plug in my... Aha! We have the light working. So, I fixed it. So there you go, that's a quick fix to your fuse. Um, now I can charge up my uh, PlayStation Portable. So uh, there you go. If you're ever stuck out there in the middle of nowhere and have to make a quick fuse, it's always good to have some tin foil or your little emergency gear. Um, it's good conductible and can be used for so many other things. But there you go, just showed you one use for tin foil. So, um, yeah. Hope that helps some of you.